Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Favorbrite bike light set. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So let's get this open. So here we have the user manual. So we have the front headlight and the tail light. On the headlight, we have the USB port, on off switch, LED spotlight, silicone mounting strap, tail light we have the switch and the usb charge port so it has different modes the front light has led light high led mid led low quick strobe slow strobe and off the tail light has high medium low slow strobe sos quick strobe and off so let's look at these lights let me open the other bag for the tail light so this is the front light so this has a silicone strap on it to mount it so you would stretch this around your bar and hook it on. We have a plastic lens up here. In the back, we have our USB Type-C charge port. So let me see if this has any power in it. Okay, we can turn it on. So that would be probably high, medium, low, slow flash. Okay, that was regular flash. This is slow flash. And then off. So let me just show those again. Okay. So the mode you want to use depends upon what you want to do. If you want to see in front of you, you'd have one of your spotlight modes. If you want people to see you, then one of the strobe modes would probably be ideal. So here's the tail light. So this has the port on the back, and this is a micro USB port. So this one's USB Type-C, this is micro USB. And this also has a silicone strap. It looks like you could strap it on here, here. I don't know if you could do that middle one or not, maybe. But it looks like there's different options for this. So that would go around probably like your seat post. So let's turn this on. So there's a flashing mode. It's a faster flash, they're steady. So that was high, medium, low, and blink. And well, that would be the SOS. Okay, so to turn this one off, we want to hold it down. So now that's off. I like that fast flicker mode. Okay, it's hard to see exactly what this looks like on camera. So I want to demonstrate putting these on some handlebars. The easiest place to do that's right here on my bench. So I have these bars off a bike I can do. So this will go on like this. We'll stretch it over like so, and then you can move it around to position it. So this is actually at a weird angle on the bars, but you can see how this goes. So you can easily access the button on top to turn them on and off. And if you want to take this off, pull on the silicone, comes right off. So the Amazon listing describes this as waterproof. I'm guessing that would be if the charge port door is closed and it looks like it's sealed up pretty good. And when they say waterproof, I'm guessing they're talking about rain, what you'd encounter in a bike. This is not a diving light. Here we have the tail light. I've got a seat tube. So let's see what this looks like. Probably on the outer one there. Yeah, that seemed best there. So we have that on there. The button, I have it on the bottom. It looks like you could put the button on the bottom or top. Now to charge this one, you do need to take it off. This one, you could in theory leave it on your bike, although it's super easy to take off. So you don't have to charge it on your bike. So to charge these up, I'll open up the back. On the tail light, I'll plug in the micro USB cable. Now you can plug this into a phone charger, computer, an outlet with a USB port. Looks like it's flashing red. You can barely see that on camera, but it's charging at 0.45 amps. And then we'll do the headlight here. And that's charging at 0.33 amps. And the red light is on here while it's charging. But since they're USB, you could charge them with a USB power bank or other device. Let's see if this will turn on while it's charging. Now it does not turn on while it's charging. Let's look at the back one. The back one does. Interesting though, it's harder to plug in the back one while it's attached to the bike. The front one you could in theory, but it doesn't allow powering it while it's charging. So something to keep in mind. Okay, so I showed what the light looks like here on my bench, but that's not very useful. I'm gonna wait till nighttime. I'll take these outside and I'll show these in the dark so we can tell what they'd look like in actual use. Okay, so I'm standing at the end of my driveway right now and I'm about 50 feet from the garage doors and I'm going to hold the light at the level it would be on a bicycle. I would get it on the bicycle, but it's very cold right now. So I wanted to be able to just demonstrate this and it'll work the same if it's on a bike or if I'm holding it. So here it is on the high mode. You can see it shining on the lights there. So it really lights up the whole driveway here. And then this is medium, low. There's that flash mode. Here's the slow flash. And there you can see the red tail light at the bottom of the garage flickering there. So I'll say it is a lot easier to see in person than it is on camera. 
it's very bright there. And I imagine that'll be visible from a very long distance away. Let's just shine this up the road a little bit too. So it's illuminating the stop sign at the end of the street. Okay, so I did a little runtime test with these. I charged them all the way up, and then I turned them both on the continuous mode on the highest setting. For the headlight, I got 2 hours and 37 minutes. For the tail light, I got 2 hours and 43 minutes. So the tail light lasted a little bit longer than the headlight. Now, when the tail light was done, it actually turned completely off. The headlight was bright, and then it got dimmer, and it was an abrupt thing. So it was bright, and it kind of shifted down into that lower mode, but it didn't shut off completely. So it actually did run longer than 2 hours 37 minutes. I actually never found out how long it ran completely, but on that highest mode you got two hours 37 minutes so on the highest setting you get a little over two and a half hours continuous runtime on these now if you turn this down to the lower modes you should get significantly more runtime and then on the back like i said like i like to use this if you have it uh, doing the blinking that will also significantly increase the runtime on it so if you're a bike commuter and you commute to work in the dark i'm guessing most people would have less than two and a half hours commute time now if you go on longer rides you'd probably want to do runtime tests with yours and you might need to repeat the runtime tests as batteries will degrade over time and see if this will work for you. You could even carry a battery pack with you if you take a break and top these off a little bit if you go on those extended rides at night. Okay, so that's the Favor Bright bike light set. I really like the small size of this. Of course, this is achieved with lithium batteries and LED lighting. 20 years ago, you couldn't do this much light in this small of a package. I found these to be very easy to use since you just have that strap. It makes it easier to adjust. You just put it on and rotate it to the position you want. It also makes it very versatile with the different modes. So my preference typically at night would be to have the front on steady light and then the back on the high frequency flashing that way people can see me and i can see ahead of myself so that's all i'm going to cover in this video if you have any questions please leave them in the comments if you like this video please click like if you haven't subscribed to my channel i'd appreciate it if you could do that and thanks for watching until next time goodbye